Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my minimal kitchen tour slash a little bit of declutter because that needs to happen before I give you guys the full tour. Background real quickly. My husband plays professional baseball. No, that doesn't define us. That's just his career. I wanna make sure you guys know that. With that being said, we have to move about three times a year and that includes bringing our kitchen stuff with us and our bedding and our towels and our children. And you can say that I've truly narrowed down what I need to bring and what you actually need in your kitchen and what you don't need. I can't stand clutter, I can't stand mess, I can't stand moving a bajillion pounds of stuff every couple months. So this is what we came up with and this is our minimal kitchen. Okay, bear with me, our lighting in here is a little bit orangey, so we're just gonna have to go with it. So I told you I need to declutter a couple things, including like our pantry. There are tons of things in there that are old and things that we just don't even eat anymore. And then I might even do like a real quick, actually that's not bad at all. I've got a pretty minimal fridge. We've got some excess glasses up in here, a lot of bottles, nice angle, a lot of tumblers. I'm thinking we might need to get rid of some of them because they're just taking up way too much space. And what if we actually cleaned out the ones that we used right after we used them? It wouldn't take up that much space. Tea cabinet, needs a little bit of love. Sit tight, let me declutter, and then we'll get to my minimal kitchen tour. When it feels like I've been fading to the background Don't leave my room for like a week, don't wanna go out but all these moments keep reminding me of just how Just how you can have the highs without the letdowns I overcomplicate, I underestimate How easy it is to live like this Feel better if I take my time Just a second and I'll be alright I know that there's a love that won't Okay, but what does she do with all the food that she's not putting back in her pantry? Good question. I'm going to give it to family, friends, anyone who comes in. I'm gonna have this basket and say, do you want anything from here? I am not throwing that away. I think that's a huge waste. People would actually use this. All right, next cupboard. Look, I know you know that I have a ring light in here, but the lighting's awful, so we're just gonna keep going. I don't feel like filming this whole thing, so I'm just gonna do one of those snazzy, like, Done! That was so fast. How nice. So let me just sit up here. Does this work? Okay, it's gonna have to work. I just have too much. I feel like I need to get rid of some teas, give them away. Also, my mugs, I have too many of them. They're not fitting in the space that everything needs to fit. Alright, Margaret, you can just fast forward through this. Nobody really wants to go through your tea cabinet. Click. There was actually more things to declutter than I thought. Let's start the tour by going through my pantry. I'm really not an excess pantry person. I like just to have exactly what I need for the week. Nothing more, nothing less. And if I just get a bunch of stuff and stick it in here, one, it will all be really cluttered. Two, I'll forget about it. So I like just having what I need and using that. With that being said, I do make a meal plan every single week so it makes it easier to know exactly what's in here and what I need. Next cabinet, we've got our Go Macro bars, kind of the sweet things that I don't want my kids to see all the time. This is my supplement cabinet as well as Tate's. We've got Organic Olivia in there, Battle Protein, some Advanced TRS, Liquid Probiotics from Mary Ruth's. If you know, you know. Kind of a weird place to put bananas, but if they're out, my kids ask for them 24-7. Lollipops for emergencies. I know you guys have been waiting for this. This is my tea cabinet. I got rid of pretty much half of our mugs. Two little teacups back there. This is my favorite teacup that I use for everything. I kept one black mug and one white mug. Kind of like a his and hers type thing. All of my teas, mmm. We've got my favorite big heart tea. Just rose petals. It's the most feminine, soothing, gorgeous tea you'll ever try. My favorite, favorite cabinet. Woo. This is a cabinet right here that I'm very proud of. It's our Tupperware cabinet and it's probably the most organized one 
in our house. I keep it this way because I want to defy the stereotype of having Tupperware and it just being everywhere. So we only have glass, we never use plastic because hot food and plastic, ah, leftovers that sit in the fridge in the plastic, meh. Don't know why I made that noise. But we've got only glass and then our measuring cups up there. A lot of them are in use right now in our fridge, so it stays neutral, it stays minimal. And I love it. This is my tea kettle. I use it every single morning and every single night, so it's gotta stay out. And then this is a really cute corner. Our Sonos is back here, our little sound system. So I just cover it with some cookbooks that make me happy. Joanna, and then this little fake plant. Okay, this is the only cabinet we have for plates, bowls, and cups. Up top are Tate's Yetis and his shaker bottles, the things I hate the most in the entire world to clean. So of course, I decluttered a few. Okay, this is my appliance cabinet. Pretty minimal, we've got baby bottles, Nutribullet, this blender that I almost never use. I'm tempted to declutter it. We'll just see, I'll give it a couple weeks. Handheld mixer, anything else. If it doesn't fit in here, she gone. This is the nice part about being minimal, is if you're going to find a saucepan and it's dirty and you don't have it, all you do is rinse it off instead of getting another one out and then you end up having to rinse two. I don't think there's any way I'll go back to having a bunch of pans. This is so simple and so much easier to clean and put away. This is all of our pots, pans, and bowls. If we were going to the baseball season, I'd probably bring this guy, that guy, one saucepan, and a bowl. Strainer's back there too. I'd definitely bring a strainer. But again, I do keep it very, very minimal in here and non-toxic. As you can see, we've just got glass and stainless steel. One small green pan for eggs. Okay, we've got four drawers in our entire kitchen, so I'm gonna show you really quickly how we use them intentionally and minimally. This is our silverware drawer, also the drawer that can get cluttered very easily if we have too much in it. So we've got our minimal silverware, baby stuff, spatulas, tongs, it's super minimal and it's all we need. Here's our spice drawer. I love pulling it out and being able to read all the labels really clearly. It's so easy. And then this bottom drawer, we've got all the miscellaneous items. Bibs, oven mitts, aluminum foil, baggies, and dish towels. Last drawer is our knife and our scissor drawer. Very small, very minimal. Okay, now we are going under the sink. I hate baby protective things. We had to put a little rubber band so Gunnar couldn't get in here. All this stuff is non-toxic, but he still gets into it and I would prefer him not to. We've got all of our Branch Basics products, the all-purpose spray, and this is the mega bottle of solution that you just put into the bottle like so and then fill the rest up with water to have a whole nother spray bottle. It makes life so much easier. You don't have to go to the store and buy this stuff all the time. You just buy the solution. I do have a discount for that, so I'll put it down below. I wouldn't tell you guys to get something if I didn't use it myself. Aprons, bags, trash can, vinegar on the back. Got my force of nature. Better than bleach, clean, it's not bleach, so you don't have to worry about your kids or your pets getting in there. And that's my under the sink for you. A couple more facts about me and my kitchen. It, it is a small space and I cook every single meal in here, thus having to clean up after every single meal that I cook and clean up my kids as well as feed a professional athlete. So there's just a lot that goes on in this kitchen and if it's cluttered and if there's too much in here, it gets messy and it gets stressful. Meal times are supposed to be like really calm. Well, you would think they're supposed to be calm with two kids. It's not like that. But I prioritize meal times and if this is just cluttered and messy, everything else is cluttered and messy. I bet you could probably give away 10 things in your kitchen right now. You should go try. Just go pick out a couple things. It could be food, it could be pans you never use. There are people that would use them and if they're just sitting in the back of your pantry or cupboard, give them away. I, that's my challenge to you. Just go find 10 things. Trust me, it'll start something beautiful and that beautiful thing is a decluttered kitchen. So thank you for joining me and I can't wait to give you some more decluttered content. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.